41 years of Regina Kanth, top six blockbusters of India's biggest superstar. Regina Kanth is undoubtedly the biggest superstar of India, despite the fact that the Thalava really has no interest in promoting his films, his films are the most promoted films in Indian cinema. Regina Kanth, who had debuted on 18th of August, 1975, in a supporting role in the Kamal Hassan. Star Rapor Vraganal, is completing a successful 41-year acting stint today. The actor's first film with a full-fledged role was opposite Sri Devi in the 1976 film, Moondru. Mudaku, where he was the main antagonist. However, two years later, Regina Kanth won his first best. Actor Tamil Nadu State Award for his terrific portrayal of wind operator, Gali in Mulam Malaram. Since then, he has acted in more than 150 films including Tamil, Telugu, Malayalam, Kannada and Hindi films and most of them have been big hits at the box office. The actor's upcoming film, In Thirin 2, with super-hit director Shine Kar is touted as the biggest film ever made in India. Produced by Laika Productions for a whopping hours 350 crore, the sequel to 2010 blockbuster In Thirin. Also marks the Tamil debut of Bollywood superstar Akshay Kumar. Here's a quick look at the top six biggest hits of India's biggest superstar. One. Kabli. Regina Kant's recent release Kabli has stunned the entire film fraternity by minting us 107 crore. On its opening day, the Piranjith directorial, which had released on the 22nd of July starred the Thalava. In the role of a Don who fights for the rights of the Tamil people in Malaysia. Kabli which also starred Riduku Apt. Dan Zaku and Kishore was produced by Kalei Ipulis Thanu under the banner of V. Creations. Though the film failed to meet the expectations of Regina Kanth fans including this writer, but at the box office, it had a different story to tell. The film had broken all their opening week records in Tamil Nadu, Kerala, and Karnataka. The film, which is still running to packed houses, is all set to cross the R's 400 crore worldwide soon. Kabali is now only second to Bahubali in the list of all time highest South film grocers. 2. In Thiran. Shine Kar's 2010 blockbuster In Thiran is considered a landmark year in Regina Kant's career. There. Film, which had ex Miss World turned actress Aishwari Ray Ibakjan opposite Regina Kanth was made. On a whopping budget of Rs 130 crore. But the superstar's dual role, as Dr. Vasi Karan and Chitty the robot, impressed the audience like never before and went on to become the all time second highest grocer of Indian cinema after Amir Khan's Three Idiots at that time. The film had collected Rs 187 crore in India and surpassed the highest Bollywood grocer of 2010. The Salman Khan star Adabang. In Thiran was the first Tamil film to cross the coveted Rs 100 crore mark in India as well as overseas box office. It was the all time highest grocer of South Indian cinema till the release of S.S. Rajamulai's Bahubali, The Beginning. 3. Shivaji, The Boss. Directed by Shank R. Shivaji, The Boss was released in 2007. The film, which starred Rage in a Kanth. Opposite Shriyasaran was produced by AVM Productions. Shivaji's songs were hugely popular, thanks to Oscar Award winner, Araman's music. Upon its release, the film grossed nearly us 130 crore at the box office. Interestingly, due to public demand, Shivaji was re-released in 3D as Shivaji 3 Dion. The auspicious occasion of superstar Regina Kant's birthday in 2012. It was also touted as their first Indian film to be released in Dolby Atmos. Shivaji also marked the first collaboration of Regina Kant with Shankar. 4. Chandramukhi. 
Vasu's Chandramukhi was the Tamil remake of the all-time Malayalam blockbuster, Manichitra Vasu, a film considered one of the best thrillers ever made in India. The content of the film was so strong that it was later remade in Kannada, Telugu, Tamil, and Hindi. Commendably, all the remakes met with huge success. Regina Kanth portrayed the character of Dr. Saravanan, a role brilliantly performed by Malayalam superstar Moangal in the original version while Jyothika reprised the role of Shobana. The film bagged five Tamil Nadu state awards for Best Film, Best Actor, Best Actress, Best Choreographer and Best Art Director. Chandramukhi's theatrical run lasted 890 days at Shivaji Gainsan's family-owned Shanthai Cinema in Chennai, beating the 62-year record set by the 1944 film Ha Readers, which ran for 784 days at their Broadway cinema, also in Chennai. At the end of its theatrical run, Chandramukhi had minted as 65 crore at the box office and earned another blockbuster for the Thalava. 5. Padayayapa K.S. Ravikama's action drama, Padayayapa was a Tamil New Year release in 1999. The Rage in a Kanth star set the box office on fire by taking the all-time biggest opening in Kollywood at that time. The film also saw the career best performance of Bahubali actress, Ramya Krishnan as the Rude landlady Nilambiri. Araman's music did wonders for the film, especially the title song N. Purupa Day Iapa, which became a national rage among the youth that year. Pade Iapa was also the first Tamil film to be released worldwide without the involvement of distributors. The film was also released in more than 200 screens worldwide to become the first Tamil film to have 200 plus. Screens. Paday Iapa grossed Haas 38 crore at the box office to become the all time highest Tamil grosser till 2005. The film was a box office success overseas as well, with more than Haas 6 crore. 6. Basha was released in 1995. The action entertainer shows Rage in Akanth in two different avatars a simple auto rickshaw driver, Manikam who then becomes a gangster called Manuk Basha. The Shuresh Krishna directorial impressed the masses and classes alike and went on to become one of the biggest hits of the year. The film has been praised for diverse music as well for three chart busters, Nan, Auto Kaaran, Style Style Than, and Azagu Azagu. By the end of its theatrical run, Basha minted a massive Rs 25 crore which was an unbelievable feat in early 90s.